Now let me tell you, God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And I don't say it as a cliche. I mean it. And my God means it too. The Bible says it's the same yesterday, today, and forever. And he will never change. If you open the Red Sea in those days, he can do anything for you. So your miracle is coming. Give God a hand. Amen. If you trust God, no matter what people say about your life, no matter what people say about you, I'm used to that, what people say about you. In actual fact, I'm not stubborn and thick-skinned that I don't worry what people say. But I came to realize it doesn't really matter what people say. What matters is what God knows and what He's going to do. Even if I make mistakes, my God will take me to the levels He has meant for me. It will not be my doing. And I say to some people here, it will not be your do-do. It will not be my to-do. It will be God's to-do. And you will know that He's great because you know you make mistakes and you know you don't deserve nothing. You know you don't deserve nothing. But God, grace, is not dependent on what you do and what you do not do. It's unmerited favor. Give Him a hand. Amen. It's unmerited favor. You love Him and you trust in Him and you know how weak you are. Come on, some of you cannot even go on a diet, man. The day when you make up, I'm going to go on a diet and I'm going to be disciplined. It lasts one day, two days, three days, and the fourth day you just break it big time. And you eat more than before. You know you cannot make it. You know you cannot even stop sinning. You know you cannot stop making mistakes. Because when you made up your mind, I'm not going to sin. It's just the times when you sin. So you should not say, God, I'm not going to sin. Because you're going to sin again. You should rather say, Lord, I pray for grace. Have mercy on me. Let your grace fall on me. Let your grace influence my mind. Because if it's not for your grace, I will get nowhere. Satan going to make no mistake. They are costly. So when I preach these things, some people preach these things, but I don't preach to you as well, that mistakes are costly. You cannot afford to make too many mistakes, man. It costs you time. It costs you it's a lot of pain, difficulty. But God's grace is not dependent on what you do and what you do not do. It's unmerited favor. He gives it to you because He loves you and you love Him in spite of your mistakes. That's why the Bible says, when you are unfaithful, you remain faithful. Sometimes I cannot say, sometimes I slip and I fall and I make the one mistake after the other mistake after the other mistake and I don't want to do that, those mistakes. And then I say, I don't say to God, Lord, I'm not going to do that anymore because I know. It's not going to help me to say that. But it's going to help me, help me if I ask, Look, God, God, I need your grace. I need your grace. Let your grace fall on my decision making. Let your grace influence my mind. Let your grace influence my tongue. Let your grace influence my next step. Because if you your grace, I'm not going to get nowhere. So by grace, I say tonight to you, that God is in control of your life and you better take it because the wave of grace is here right now. Take it. Say, Lord, I take your grace. Everyone in the building, you up there as well, everyone. Take that grace now in the name of Jesus. Take it, make it yours. You got it? Are you sure? The wave of grace is here. Tonight is yours. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You see, it's not how disciplined you are. You see, a, there's a certain gift of the Spirit, of a certain fruit, not the gift, a certain fruit. That fruit's name is called self-control. Now, that's not self-discipline, because with self-discipline, you're not going to get nowhere, man. But there's a, there's a fruit of the Spirit that comes by the Spirit, and not your to-do, and not your self-discipline. But that's, that fruit's name is called self-control. Give God a hand. Amen. Now, and let me tell you, I know the translators are wrong. I've seen many places in the Bible where the translators are wrong because they translated it out of Hebrew and out of Greek, etc., etc. That is not self-discipline. I can, I, can, I can tell you now. It is God's discipline. Give God a hand. Amen. You can go and check it up, I tell you. Take the interlinear Bible, Clive, and check it up. You'll find it. It's not self-discipline. It's not self-control. It is God's control. Give God a hand. I tell you, go and check it. 
Amen. There's many mistakes in your Bible. And it's not the Bible that's the mistakes. It's the translators that made some mistakes, but they're not going to judge and blame them. It's some Englishman who tried to translate it out of Greek, and who knows the full Greek, and who knows the full Hebrew. Don't worry about that. But self can do nothing for God. So self-control, that's a story. God's control. Give God a hand. Amen. There is a fruit that is called control. God is in control. Amen. It's nothing to do with your self-discipline. It's to do, Lord, I'm willing. Lord, help me. I know I cannot make it. I am weak. But when I'm weak, you are strong. You always quote God's word to him. That's why you need to know your Bible. Say to God next to you should handle the word of truth accurately. You should handle the sword of the Spirit accurately. So that you can quote the scriptures at the right time. Amen. Hallelujah. My God, when I'm unfaithful, you remain faithful. My God, when I am weak, you show yourself strong. Lord, when I come at the end of myself, you take over. That's exactly where he takes over. When you come to the end of yourself, don't worry, because he will take over. And he will lead you on, and he will lead you through, and he will lead you to victory, and he will lead you to the places he has meant for you. You might think tonight, I'm not going to make it. I'm never going to get there. I'm this and I'm that. I tell you, God's got a final say, and he knows where he's going with you. In Jesus' name. Everyone say, thank you, Jesus. Kialibua Moreno, Jesus. Toda, Yeshua HaMashiach, life. Where are you? Toda, in Hebrew, is thank you, thank you. Everyone say, Toda, HaMashiach, Yeshua. Amen. God is a good God. So I tell you, you can now, at this point of time, jump to your feet and make that grace yours in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive that grace now. In the name of Jesus. All over the building, you receive this grace now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you. Pastor Vibu. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. That grace. Unmerited favor. It's not what you have done and what you didn't do. It's just God's love in the name of Jesus. Just his love for you. In Jesus' name. Wow, it's here. Take it. It's here. I can feel it. It's on my body. Hallelujah. It's not, not what you have done. It's just his love for you in the name of Jesus. Just his love. Poop. Just his love. Just his love. Oh Lord, don't pass me by. I'm a good guy. It's not, not, it's, it's not about you being good. It's about him being good. It's not you that's good. It's he that's good. In Jesus' name. Unmerited favor. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Dasai. Hallelujah. Nala no samana. Elwanda kaya. Alawana sikitla kaya. Yitla hai. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And you know, for me, and he says, No, my Hallelujah. 
sy het organisch toe unmerited feiver. Undeserved feiver. God het een plan met jou lief. Hoor jy? God het een plan met jou leven. Luister mooi. Het baie ding in die leven gesien. Baie snaak so goed gesien. Maar vergeet het. Sit het achter jou. Kijk mooi, want Jesus het een plan met jou. Ok? Moe nie vergeet wat ek jou sê nie. Toe la nasse gaan as sê sê. Halleluja, het gehoor wat ek jou sê, nee. Naka se kalana. Ola na gaya. Jesus name. People say das, and people say this, and you yourself think, huh, am I going to make it? But wherever God is around, the grace is available. And grace is unmerited favor. Unmerited favor. It's not about what you have done and what you didn't do. Because no man can do the right thing. It is grace that causes you to do the right thing. In Jesus' name. It's grace that causes you to avoid the wrong things. It's grace that causes you to do the right thing. In Jesus' name. Unmerited. Hallelujah. Nakuna sini. Mana swanai. Wola mai. Ulunusasi. Zibutlana. Zibutlana. Zibukla. Zimunasi. Alana siki. Alana siki. Alana siki. Ulunasia. Alala yetli. Ulundukulu. Ulunosi. Malanda sisi. Ala kutli si ulu nusaya elana ku elalu si sa matlu atlai ulu nuhu su ulu nuhu urana si si malana husai malana husai malana husai Halleluja. Als iemand recht achter. You stand closer, friend. Amen. Dank je, Jesus. Dank je, Jesus. Halleluja. Halleluja. Paul, come down here, friend. Elder, come down here. Come here, please. There's something in my hand. You know, God's timing is the best timing, so by the way. Some people, their blessed time comes when they're young. Other people, it comes when they're 60. Others people come when it's 80. God's timing is the best timing. Hallelujah. He know, you just never give up. And you just know that God will do what He said He will do. Amen. In spite of what people are saying, no matter what they say, your time will come. Come here, so believe. Elsa, you're going to come as well. Sam, you're going to come as well. Everyone in the building, God had an appointment with you. No one, no one excluded. No one excluded. Not even a hair on your head excluded. No one in this building is excluded. He knows exactly what he's doing. And he takes you step by step. And you make mistakes. But God fought you step for step. And he will you bring what he will do. No one will be able to do it. His time is the right time in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you. Now give you what you need to do in Jesus' name. Give it with your hands. Give it with your hands. Give it in Jesus' name. Give it with your hands. Give it with your hands. 
No one in the building tonight is excluded from God's blessing. Don't sit in the back and think, oh, he doesn't touch me. He's with you. You just receive it in Jesus' name. No one is excluded from God's blessing here tonight and his grace. His grace is available to every single one. God, an appointment with you yet tonight in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You know, I, sometimes it comes from my heart. I know I hear his voice. Like that girl. That girl. Amen. I know. And during the day, in two days, I walk around with this. I know I need to say this to this one and that one and that one. I want to say to you, just keep your eye on Jesus. No matter what happened in the past, how many times you failed God, you just keep your eye on Jesus. And you will be surprised where, he, where you will end up, where he will take you. Don't take your eye off him. Where is Douglas? We're standing my mouth. Jy het het nodig man, jy in jou hart man, in Jesus naam. Halleluja, kom eens asjeblief. Naswala naai. Come here please, both of you. And you as well, please come. You just keep your eye on Jesus. You know, when I was young, I just got saved. I went to church meetings where people fall over, and amazing. And Benny Hinn and Henry Hinn, where Benny Hinn's brother was there. And he did so many great, great things. He's not so well known than Benny Hinn, but let me tell you, he walked in great, even greater power than Benny Hinn. And he was in those meetings there at Hatfield where I was, where I first got saved in those, in those days. And you know, I would ask, God, let this man just touch, touch me, touch me. And he, sometimes he would not touch me, he just walked by me. And I thought by myself, I, th I never think, I, I think God's going to pass me by. I will never get there. That's what I thought. But God said to me, I will touch you. And I will anoint you and I will equip you. But you think by yourself, hey, God's passing me by me. Me, will I give it with all the things I've done? Will I give a get there? Yes, exactly you, he said to me. You'll get there. I was standing in a meeting. God, I will never be able to do these things. Me. And God said, I will take you there. I said, Me, that I've done so many wicked things. God says, Yes, you. I will take you there. And tonight it's here. The same things that ben Henry Hinn did in those, those days in that church is happening here now. He did this that night. The same things that, that Henry Hinn did in that building tonight, that, 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 that night, is happening here now. But that night I said to God, these things will never happen to me. It cannot happen to me. I saw the things that this man, I desired it. I said, well, never, 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 never come into my life. God said, while I was standing there, God said, it will. I thought, Lord, me. I said, I will, I will equip you, I will anoint you, and you will do it. I said to him, Lord, me, that I've done so many wicked things. I said, yes, you will do it. Because I will anoint you and equip you. So I can say tonight to you, no matter what people say about you, no matter what you think about yourself, God will take you where he wants to take you. Give him a hand. Amen.